Our name is Israel United in Christ because the blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. We believe in Christ. We do it exactly what he did when he walked the earth because God judges us by our actions and we want to show God that we mean what we say, that we truly love him. So we're going to do what he told us to do. So if you love Christ, if you love God, Come over here and ask us questions. We'll answer them just like we did for the gentleman here. We're not out here to bash y'all. We out here to teach you what you need to do to get right with God. You got questions, brother? Right here? You got any questions? You think it? Okay. Go ahead. He's coming back for the Israelites. Matthew chapter 15, 24. Go ahead. Those that are not dead, what what's going to happen to them, right? The dead will rise first. So what's going to happen to those that repent, right? You're right. Okay, you got that first Thessalonians. Give me 1524 first. Show you who Christ is coming back for. And then we'll show you what happens to all those that repent. All of the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians that choose to repent. That hear the words of God coming out of this Bible and understand that you are the Israelites and you return back to God, what's going to happen to them? Let's show you what Christ said first. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So according to the Bible, Christ said, I only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who's more lost than the blacks and Hispanics and native Indians? We call ourselves uh, El Salvadorians. We call ourselves Mexicans. We call ourselves blacks. Those are colors in the crayon box. Those are slave names that Christopher Columbus gave us. That, um, what's his name? Um, the French guy, uh, Napoleon. He called you Haitians. God calls you Levi. God calls us Judah if you so-called African-American. If you so-called Hispanic, God calls you Ephraim, Manasseh. That's your God-given names. So Christ said, I only came for those people. So if he came for those people back then, guess who he's coming back for a second time? Those same people That's right. that choose to repent in the last days. Now give me that in 1 Thessalonians. Because he said, what about those that are alive when he comes back, what's going to happen if they repent, if they choose to keep the commandments of God and the faith in him? Pull that out. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, uh -huh. that ye sorrow not. So Paul is speaking to the Israelites in Thessalonica. He said, don't be ignorant to those that have passed on in Christ. Don't be ignorant. I'm going to answer the question. Even as others which have no hope. Uh -huh. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again. So if you believe, if you're a black and Hispanic who God calls the Israelites, if you believe, and believing means to keep the commandments of God, like we read in Sirach 32, 24. Believing is an action word, and that action you have to take is to keep the commandments. Put fringes on your clothes. Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Stop sleeping from woman to woman to woman. Take these women as your wives. Raise up children. Those are commandments of God that he gave to the Israelite man, which are you two. Read on. Even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we are alive. And we, we that which are alive, you talking about when Christ come back, which are alive. That, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. That's what you're talking about. When he comes back, what's going to happen to us? Shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, uh -huh. and with the trump of God. So, contrary to what Christianity teaches, Christ is not coming back to hand out lollipops and flip-flops. Christ is coming back to destroy this wicked kingdom that believes a man shall marry a man. That believes it's okay for a woman to marry a woman. That believes it's okay for a man to say, 
I was really supposed to be born a woman and get his privates cut off. Christ is coming back to destroy all of that and everyone that believes in it. Hold on, let me answer the question. Read on. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive. Then we which are alive. Read on. And remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So when Christ comes back, when you see that, that sky crack, and you see that chariot come out of the sky, Christ is going to call up all of those that heard his word. Because the Bible, Christ says, my sheep hear my, ver my voice, and another they will not follow. So if you hear the voice of God right now, speaking through this Bible, through us, you are going to repent. Keep the commandments as an Israelite because you blacks and Hispanics, you Haitians and Jamaicans, you are Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. So if you repent, Christ is going to come back and call you up. And I know that in church you, you were taught that the rapture is for everybody, Matthew 24 and 30. The rapture is not for everybody. Because I know that's a doctrine in Christianity. They say the church is going to be raptured up and taken into heaven. Well, let's see, because the Bible just said that those which are alive, Christ is going to come back with an archangel, with a trump, descending from heaven. So who's he coming to pick up? Is it everybody or is it a select few? Pull it out. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. That's what we just read in Thessalonians. He's coming back with a trump in the cloud. Read on. And then shall all the tribes of... All the what? All the tribes... So that eliminates everybody that's not an Israelite right now. Because he said all the tribes. So if you're a so-called black man in America... God calls you Judah in the Bible. That's your tribe. You are an Israelite. If you're so-called West Indian, God calls you Benjamin in the Bible. If you're so-called Haitian, God calls you Levi in the Bible. That's your tribe. You are from the nation of Israel. That's right. Read on. So all the tribes. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Read on. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven uh -huh. with power and great glory. That's with all his thousands and thousands and thousands of angels to administer punishment as he sees fit to whoever did not repent. Judgment. Judgment. you exactly right. Christ is coming back with the angels to administer judgment on all those that didn't repent of his people. And we're going to show that. Read on. Verse 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. His what? His elect. His elect. That's very specific. He's going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. You, you blacks, you Hispanics and native Indians, you are God's elect. That's right. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Jamaican, Haitian, West Indian, black, African American, Afro American are slave names. God does not call you that. God calls you the Israelites. He calls you his elect. Let's prove that. Isaiah chapter 45. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Israel, his what? Mine elect. Israel, mine elect. Go back to Matthew. Because Christ said, I am going to come back and gather the elect. Read on. Verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect. God is going to gather up the Israelites from all the areas of the earth where they have been scattered. You blacks and Hispanics and native Indians, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. God is sending Christ back to redeem you from all the hard bondage that you face now. If, if you hear the voice of God and repent, and keep the commandments. You understand that? Who the elect 
who the rapture is for. It's for the elect of God, for the Israelites. The people who God selected from the beginning. That is us. We are God's chosen people. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Come on back up here, soldier. I'm going to read this last scripture. I'm going to show you who God chose in the beginning. And it never changed because Christ just said that I'm coming back for the elect. So let's see who it was. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Another word for chosen is elect. God said, I chose you. Benjamin, what's your name, sir? Keith, I'm Officer Zakar, okay? God said, I have chosen you from the foundations. Before you was even born, Keith, God said, I'm going to choose him. I'm going to send him into the earth. And one day, he's going to walk by. And he's going to hear my prophet speaking to him. And then I'm going to see what he's going to do. Is he going to make a change in his life for the better? Or is he just going to go back and live the life that he lived before that? Or the worse. Now, I don't know what you was doing before that. But God says when you repent and keep these commandments, it'll be tough, but it'll be better. Because you know that you got something to live for now. You got eternal life to live for. A lot of our people don't have no purpose on this earth. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You so-called blacks and Hispanics. Your purpose is to keep God's commandments. Go out and show his people that don't know and raise them up. Build a nation again. Bring them back to the gods that Christ and God called them to be. That's your job, no matter how old you are. You can take a flyer and pass it out to anybody. You may not have the voice or the lungs like I do as a young man, but God says you can do something. I can preach from my own. You can preach once you learn this word. Yeah. You gotta be retaught though, because you said you was a Methodist. Methodist ain't in the Bible. I would go to the theological college. No, white man set that up. Show me one, uh, show me one Benjamite, one West Indian that ever set up a theological school. That's where you go to. No, that's where you go to if you want to teach white supremacy. If you want to teach white supremacy to your people, you go to the theological school and you learn white Jesus and you teach it to your people and you keep them in mental slavery. But if you want to raise up your people, you come and learn from the Israelites. That's right. Well, none of us went to theological school and we pulling out scriptures you probably have heard but never truly understood. None of us went there. So what makes us different than that? The Spirit of God has descended on us. And every one of these brothers out here that you see are prophets standing before you, calling you back through the voice of God. Do you understand that, Keith? All right, let me read that Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again before I go, because I'm going to let the brother take over again, all right? Because you said Christ coming back for his elect. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. You blacks and Hispanics who God calls the Israelites a holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God, uh -huh. the Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God chose you to be his elect. You didn't have a say so in the matter. So you can't walk away and say, I ain't God's chosen. No, you God's elect. You his chosen, whether you like it or not. You are from the tribe of Benjamin, his chosen people. Read on. Have chosen thee to be a special people. And you're special in the eyes of God. That's why he gave you and only you the chance to repent. If you're so-called black or Hispanic, you have the opportunity to repent. Christ came back and said, I am only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You blacks and Hispanics are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. God calls you Israelites in the Bible. You are a special people. Read on. A special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now I know it doesn't seem like that now where we feel the bus stops. We catch the bus. We keep the transit authority. We live in the worst communities. But God says that you are above all people and he wants to put you back there. But you got to repent. 
You got to do what he says do. You can't serve God on your terms. That's not in the Bible, Keith. I'm on fire, but I thought you were hard No, we not. God just said what? You Israelites, you blacks and Hispanics are what? For thou art unholy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. That don't sound like equality, does it? Yeah. That's not equality right there. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God says you are his elect and he's going to send Christ back to redeem you if you repent. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.